Three years ago, when Aaron Shartner first suggested TransCanada could send a pig, also known as a pipeline inspection gauge, nearly 1,000 kilometers inside a natural gas pipeline, most thought it was more likely for that pig to fly. Yeah, I remember a lot of people looked at me a little funny and thought, there's no way, there's, <laughs> we're not going to be able to go for it and make it work, and there's so many barriers to overcome to get to that point. The run would attempt to cover the massive distance between Burstall, Saskatchewan and Ile de Chaine, Manitoba in a single shot. And if successful, Shartner's crazy idea would set a new North American distance record for a pig run in a natural gas pipeline, more than three times longer than any other successful run ever achieved on the continent. Pigs have long been used by the pipeline industry as an inspection tool, and on this project, TransCanada partnered with Baker Hughes, a GE company. A pig or a pipeline inspection gauge tool, um, what we refer to as an inline inspection tool, is a device that goes through the pipeline. Um, it gets pushed by the uh, product of the pipeline, the oil or the gas, um, and it collects data and it has onboard computers and sensors, and it collects data on, on the t integrity of the pipeline. Um, at the far end of the, of the line, the tool is then extracted, um, the data is downloaded, um, analyzed, and provided to the customer to make integrity decisions on the pipeline. However, using this tool on what could become a record-setting run comes with several engineering challenges. In a natural gas pipeline, there's more wear and tear on the components of the pig than in an oil pipeline, where the product naturally lubricates the device for a smoother ride. In addition, the team had to consider the battery life needed to keep the pig sensors going on this long journey. All of this added up to a risk that the pig could get stuck in the line potentially causing gas outages and disruptions to the vital energy communities depend on to heat their homes and cook their meals. But the TransCanada team pushed forward, recognizing the significant safety, environmental, and customer gains a successful run could yield. As well, this record attempt could potentially save TransCanada and its customers tens of millions of dollars. This unique engineering feat would require the use of only one launcher and receiver set, these sets cost several million dollars to construct, and typically a run of this length would require at least three to four sets. Another major benefit of this run would mean the vital information collected by the pig could come to the engineers at an accelerated rate. The anticipation for the outcome of this new frontier in pipeline engineering was at an all-time high. Finally, after three years of detailed planning and collaboration by a number of TransCanada groups, the 10,500-pound pig completed a four-day, 941-kilometer journey on Line 6 of the Canadian Main Line across the prairies. The long hours, teamwork, and engineering ingenuity paid off. The project was a success. So the collaboration was, was really strong, and, I, and, it, and it didn't take the teams long to figure out they had to. So th this reaches people all the way from Calgary to Winnipeg. So there's literally hundreds of people that have touched this. And just the sheer excitement and passion of this, just and our strong culture of collaboration in the company, just drove everybody to just to be part of this, right? The excitement and the journey to get here was was just really just the electricity around it was remarkable. The determination of frontline workers to dream big and challenge the status quo became infectious and helped turn a pipe dream into a significant advancement for the pipeline industry. Being a part of this North American first was the crescendo of Darcy Stanick's 33-year TransCanada career. Well, we've all gotten older, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's good to get the young guys introduced to the older guys because they're learning something. Every time these, the older guys speak, it's a good time to listen because they're passing off so much knowledge and, and information. You know, it's, once these guys leave, there's, it's gone, right? So it's, uh, that's what I like to see anyhow, these young guys, just to, just to work with the old guys and we'll pass on as much information and knowledge as we can. Those life experiences were appreciated by the younger team members. Passing that information along, that knowledge along to, to a group of younger technicians coming up who have that same pride of ownership, the same passion for doing the right thing, it's energizing on both ends. Right? And um, I actually think it makes us a stronger workforce because you've got that, that knowledge and then you've got the, you know, the, the eagerness to learn, the willingness to learn that, that's coupled with it. Uh, and I think it makes for, for a more vibrant, uh, a, a happier and a more productive workplace. 
for a young, a young guy like myself uh, to be able to work with some guys that have more experience, right? And they can, you know, the, anytime you can try to glean some tidbits or tips and tricks from them, you know, um, that you can, you know, for myself, hopefully I can retain, retain a few of them and take them on in my career and use them down the road and hopefully may pass them on to some young people in the future. The success of this record-breaking nearly 1,000-kilometer pig run is attributed to the incredibly talented, multi-generational Trans-Canada team. And by pushing the boundaries of technology, this pig run contributed to the advancement of future innovations. Anything with pushing the envelope um, is obviously pretty exciting to work on. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely a career highlight right now. What started as a bold idea turned into a North American record, helping TransCanada bring North Americans the essential energy that's a part of their everyday.